Hi everyone. Can anyone hear me? Please give me thumbs up. Good morning. I hope everyone is doing really well and wish you all happy Ganesh Chaturthi, the ongoing festival and let it bring health, wealth and prosperity. So uh, I would like to talk about particularly the health of, uh, you know, related to women. I, I am Charmi Kala, Head Nutritionist and Lifestyle Expert with Team Lo. I also had the Cleanse and Rejuvenation program with Lo. Talking about the women's health, I would like to focus on her intimate area called as vaginal health. Vaginal health is an important part of women's overall health. The vagina has many functions such as menstruation, delivering babies, and uh, you can also say it's a passage for the sperm. So taking care of the vagina is very important so that it can perform its incredible work. If there are vaginal health issues, it can cause stress, relationship problems and also can affect the self-confidence. Today we are going to discuss the couple of common vaginal infections and our uh, and few home remedies how we can prevent it the most common vaginal infections are is known as candidial vulvovaginitis it is basically caused by the ex, uh, you know excess growth of the yeast in the vagina which can cause irritation so there are various symptoms which uh, you know one mother can face so let's understand that the uh, symptoms such as itching, irritation in the vagina as well as uh, in the vulva, burning sensation especially during the intercourse and while urinating, redness and swelling of the vulva, vaginal pain and soreness, vaginal rash uh, sub, uh, and uh, no, there can be thick white or uh, odor there can be a uh, you know, foul odor or it can be odor free vaginal discharge it, or it can be a cotton cheese uh, kind of a discharge or it can be a watery vaginal discharge which definitely needs an uh, you know, uh, attention that you need and help through a proper healthcare professional and also need to follow some remedies which can really help mother or you know a woman uh, in case if they are facing any vaginal related uh, you know problem so first important thing which they need to do is limit the amount of sugar and the processed food uh, because yeast is actually known uh, uh, you know to grow under the medium or uh, the main food for the yeast is sugar so make sure that you know you are not consuming any refined sugar or the processed food now wearing a loose cotton cloth is really helpful nowadays you know there are a lot of women who who really want to look good and they really wear thin uh, skin tight clothes um, in this what that actually happens is uh, you know if the private area remains little moist it helps to grow this bacteria in, uh, you know um, uh, yeast so uh, it's very important that the uh, whatever the clothing they wear it should be little loose and if preferable uh, choose a pure cotton clothes so which is very important also can look forward for cotton underwear uh, which can be really helpful make sure that you don't spend extended periods in wet clothes because we know that is grow in warm and moist environment also avoid vaginal deodorants, spray and scented vaginal lotions. These products may alter the balance of the good bacteria and yeast in your vagina. Now uh, one other type of uh, infection is known as bacterial vaginosis. It is more common uh, in the sexually active people. Now uh, uh, the symptoms remain the same. It can be burning sensation, redness, uh, there can be a greenish kind of a discharge or thick discharge. The discharge can be with the odor or without odor. So all these things, uh, you know, if uh, any woman faces this, then they need to definitely reach out to the healthcare provider. 
with this what are the remedies they can follow they can follow such as greek yogurt or including greek yogurt in their meals because it is considered one of the probiotic which contains the live bacteria and uh, they are really essential in creating the healthy environment in your vagina they can help to treat a uh, overgrowth caused by imbalance and make sure that this yogurt should not contain any kind of added sugar or flavoring uh, fruit it should be plain yogurt now second important thing which you can look forward is apply cold press coconut virgin oil now this fatty oil is derived from the flesh of the coconut and one of the important benefits of the coconut is antifungal and antibacterial property so hence this is really helpful in treating the vaginal infection but make sure that you buy the pure one and uh, it should be cold pressed and you can directly apply on your on the affected area now third important uh, uh, thing which you can do is uh, you can take help of tea tree oil now tea tree oil is a essential oil which is used to kill the fungi bacteria and virus now it's one of the powerful essential uh, oil so make sure that you need to dilute this oil in a carrier oil and the carrier oil is best is Uh, which you can use is cold press coconut virgin oil. Now, if, uh, uh, what you need to do, use this diluted form on your vagina. Apply it. Uh, if in case if you face that discomfort, then you need to definitely avoid using it. Now, going forward, uh, you can use this in one more method. Like you know, you can uh, do a lot of six bath. Now, six bath is like you know, you need to take a uh, tub of water. It should be little lukewarm. Add here one or two drop of tea tree oil, uh, and you can immerse your lower portion in that tub. This six bath really helps to uh, take care of uh, you know the vaginal health too, or help you to heal from the vaginal infection. So this can be one uh, which women can look forward for. Now another uh, um, uh, remedy which they can look forward for is a apple cider vinegar. Now there are two ways of using it. It but this can be used. Uh, you know if one want to use in use in their uh, daily diet, it can be used in that. Or you can use uh, you know take a half cup of apple cider vinegar to do lukewarm. Uh, uh, bath tub and soak uh, for a uh, soak your lower body for at least 20 minutes now this is also one type of um, sit bath now in this apple cider vinegar our mother can uh, you know add um, Uh, 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 you know, little amount of turmeric. So even turmeric no, is known as antifungal, antibacterial. It uh, it has antiseptic properties. So this can be really helpful. In fact, the apple cider vinegar, the uh, the acidic component of the apple cider vinegar helps to eliminate the harmful microorganisms. Uh, most important thing is to add garlic. uh to the diet because even the garlic is known as antiseptic antiviral so it really helps uh, uh you know in uh, taking care or helping to heal the bacterial infection or the yeast infection uh, at the faster rate now uh, what uh, what more one can add to their diet is vitamin c now vitamin c is a c is actually known to to play a important role in the skin health so when you add it uh, it helps to it, it is a great antioxidant help helps the skin to rejuvenate and heal faster but do not apply it directly on the vaginal area because it is already uh, so much sensitive so uh, apart from this you know uh, on regular basis uh, what my suggestions will be there are three or four important suggestion which you need to make sure keep your area dry dry in every 3 to 4 hours keep changing your panty this is an another way to help you to keep the area dry uh, then uh, you know wear a loose cotton pants don't wear very tight cotton pants uh, and make sure that uh, you know the panties which you use uh you know in the undergarment should be a cotton based don't go for the synthetic one synthetic one may look really beautiful but what are um, uh, for a good health or good vaginal health we really need the natural fabric which is a pure cotton 
so this is all about the uh, two common infection which takes place uh, you know or which is very common in, in the women uh, between the age you can say between 20 to 40s or even up to 50s uh, so uh, please do make sure that you are having a good probiotic having garlic in your meals uh, keeping the area dry private area dry make sure that you are hydrated well focusing on at least 3 liters of water in case if you don't have any other medical issues uh, make sure that you are hydrated well. Uh, do not hold your urine. That's very important. And suppose if you face this infection, get your partner also checked. You know, sometimes since uh, bacterial infection is mainly related to a sexual activity, so get your partner also checked so that it doesn't happen like only you are getting treated and you know the infection is coming from your partner. So uh, please be aware about all these things. Talk to your healthcare provider and do follow the home remedies, which is again very very helpful. Uh, I'm opening the platform for the question answers. Uh, please uh, let me know in case if you have any questions. Yes, I can see a question. Uh, what if I get a very small, you know, bad fishy kind of odor? Is this a very bad infection which I have got? So I will say yes, this is one type of infection and this calls for a, uh, you know, uh, proper vaginal check. So you need to ch uh, get a check with your healthcare provider and then take it forward accordingly. But follow all this remedy, make sure that you are including probiotics hydrating yourself well then uh, uh, changing your panty in every three to four hours uh, you know keeping the area dry and also make sure that you are avoiding a lot of uh, you know processed and sugary food the next question says Why it is so necessary to just wear a cotton, uh, you know, panties? So uh, basically, cotton panties or cotton is a natural fabric, so it will absorb most of the heat and moisture. So that's very important. But if you go for a synthetic one, not sure that uh, particular fabric will be able to absorb the moisture. Uh, so since I said that, we need to make sure that you know your vaginal area or your private area should be dry uh, where uh, you know if it is moist or warm uh, uh, moist with warm it will uh, it will uh, you know it's a triggering point for uh, you know bacteria and virus to grow or if, if, uh, fung uh, you know fungal infection to grow so making sure that uh, you know wearing a cotton panties uh, is very very important yes it is definitely important to change uh, you know within three to four hours uh, your cotton panties in case if you face this regular infections uh, or you know on, on the regular intervals so to keep it dry say for example if you're going for a urination if uh, one or two drops also uh, is uh, you know uh, spills on your uh, panties that will also care, uh, you know lead to moisture because you know uh, uh, it won't get any chance to dry it up correct so it's better to change in every three to four hours so at least change your panties at least three times or four times and whole day and at bedtime if possible uh, you know if you don't wear uh, uh, you know underwear or panties it will help the air to pass very uh, you know uh, um, in much better way so in, in this way it is going to help you to heal better and you can apply cold pressed coconut virgin oil too in case uh, if you have any more question, you can post it uh, uh, and I will try to reply as soon as possible. So take care. Bye-bye. Uh,